Even if you're today's positive action, there aren't too many stocks that are within striking distance of the 52-week highs. But H&R Block, the nation's number one tax preparation firm, is one of them. Uh, with its stock roaring two and a half bucks or 7% after the company reported a terrific quarter last night. Not only did H&R Block deliver smaller than expected earnings loss, remember, this company makes almost all of its money during tax season. Makes sense, right? Along with uh, that uh, higher than anticipated sales. But it finally completed a hugely important transaction that investors have been waiting for for ages. Ever since the financial crisis, the problem with H&R Block has been that it owns a bank, fairly small division that provides financial services to their tax preparation clients. That division makes the company subject to regular Regulations limiting how much capital can return to you, the shareholder, via dividends and buybacks. Last night, though, we learned that H&R Block has finally completed the sale of its, uh, of its banking business to Bofi, uh, which is also a hot stock, by the way. A month, admitted, a, m- a month ahead of its admittedly delayed schedule, there was nothing they could do. Remember, it wasn't up to H&R Block. And now that the bank is gone, the company can start buying back stock hand over fist. Hence, this four-year, $3.5 billion repurchase plan that management announced on this last night's conference call. Then today, we learned that H&R Block is buying back $1.5 billion worth of stock. That's equal to roughly 15% of the market cap through what's known as a Dutch auction-style tender, where they'll be buying shares for somewhere between $32.25 and $37, depending on how many people want to sell. I don't know if you should. Even at today's rally, and the, and the, uh, the stock's return has been 11% since we spoke to the CEO back in early June. I think the new H&R Block has a lot more room to run, courtesy of the monumental multi-year buyback plan, but also because of a change in the earnings profile. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Bill Cobb, the president and CEO of H&R Block, to learn more about the bank divestiture, the buyback, and what the company's prospects are. Mr. Cobb, welcome back to Mad Money. Hi, Jim. How are you, Bill? Nice Good to, to see you. you. Good, Good to see, see you, you, sir. Bill, it is not often that a, to- that a totally telegraphed event, which is what this was, we knew yeah, that you were going right. to eventually, uh, eventually get rid of this bank, would still produce such a gigantic pop. <laughs> and by the way, I mean, obviously, the only one out of 499 stocks, the 499 down yesterday went up. Why do you think it took the market by storm, even though we've talked about it for years? I th- it took a while for this to, to happen. But in, in early August, we said, OK, we've received approval. I think there was still skepticism whether we'd be able to close it. We were able to close it. And then uh, what we had always said was shortly thereafter, we would come out with our capital structure and capital return plan. And I don't think you get much, much faster than what we did. And so that's what we were able to do yesterday. And also, uh, more aggressive, I mean, a Dutch tender basically says, listen, we're not just going to stand there underneath the market and buy stock. We're actually going to impact directly where the stock is. Exactly. We, we were sitting on about a billion dollars of trapped capital, excess mm-hmm. capital, from, you know, really the regulations right. uh, being imposed by the Federal Reserve. So we felt with our shareholders we should come right out and uh, get that get that capital back to them. And then most importantly to me is we announced a, a very aggressive three point five billion dollar authorization over the next effectively four tax seasons uh, in order to continue this. But we'll start with the tender. All right. So what makes you feel so confident that the stock is such a buyer? Well, what we what we believe is that we're on the right path. I, I, I said this last night in the earnings right. call. I now have the company that I wanted all along. Right. That was nice when you said that. We like have it. We ha- it's a company centered, centered on tax preparation. We are looking to expand to what we call our Tax Plus strategy, which is a series of additional services that we can add to our clients. Their financial services, which was the deal with right. Bofi, which we have other opportunities with them over the seven-year agreement. Last year, we launched a product called Tax Identity Shield right. to fight tax identity fraud, which is just Rampant. exploded. So this is the kind of company we want to run, center on the tax experience, and then offer other services. Well, and I saw this this piece just today about uh, the uh, TSA in H&R Block. I I can get another service. There must be lots of different services you can offer within your uh, box, your bricks and mortar. People have talked for a long time. Well, could you sell Halloween candy? Could you? Now, we're, we're testing this out where you can get TSA service, you know, TSA pre-check right. and things like that. Because there's a lot of things today all about identity, and we want to be part of the solution there. I think that's such a great idea because we're, we're correctly fearful. It's not, it's not paranoid. We're correctly fearful. As you exactly. taught us, what they're really trying to steal is your tax return when they get your ID. What, what the fraudsters finally realized is every year the Treasury is doling out $300 billion worth of refunds. Right. That's a lot of money. So they realized that they could start to go not only against federal returns, but state returns. Right. So this whole infrastructure for organized crime and, frankly, organized countries is really designed to steal your tax return. Oh, well, there's a presidential candidate that we're all familiar with, Donald Trump, who may not be as concerned about getting the refund. He seems to be using H&R Block as a bit of a punching bag, so to speak. Let me play a clip. I want to put H&R Block out of business. I mean, it would be a dream of mine to put H&R Block right out of business. They don't deserve to be in business, frankly. 
All right, so what happens if an H&R Block goes out of business? Do the uh, taxpayers save a lot of money? Well, that's, that's the issue here. I mean, last year, our, we uh, were able to return about $50 billion worth of refunds to our clients. Over 85% of our clients come to us to really maximize their, their refund. You know, Jim, I, I often say this is like their bonus. For, the, for people who are making thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, and that's kind of the sweet spot mm -hmm. for us. We can do anybody's tax returns, right. but that's the sweet spot. We're there to help. I mean, we are there to help them navigate the code. I realize there's talk about the complexity of the code. Right. I think no one knows it better than we do. We have ideas that we could help on, on how do we help to simplify this. But in the end, that's part of the issue here is it's about credits, education credits and the like. It's not as simple as just uh, only about the tax code. And, and if uh, if H and R Block were wiped out, a lot of people work at H and R Block. Yeah, we have a, about a hundred thousand people, uh, which is what you know. We take this seriously, but again, what we're doing right now is I've got the company focused on. We're starting to gear up training. You know, the ACA is going to wow. kick in again next right. year with higher Affordable penalties, care. more people, the Affordable Care Act. Um, so we're focused on training. We're focused on getting ready for the tax season, and we know that that early season, especially, is where our clients are looking to get their those refunds. Fair enough. Good, good, non-judgmental answer because I know that your company has saved people, including me at one point in my career, more money than I had to pay you. Let's put it that <laughs> way. Okay, that's Bill Cobb, the president and CEO of H&R Block, who totally delivered on his promises that he made right here on Mad Money. We're back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.